All right, we back. Oh, my bad. I'm on my phone. We back, guys. We back. Ha! Huh. I'm going to ask Oh, snap. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> all right, you want me up? All right, all right so I'm going to get kicked off. I'm going to have D1 commentate for me because, you know, D1 hates me. So, all right. This is the Disciple. I'm out. Good games, guys. All right, well, good luck. I wasn't kicking anybody. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got my homie from Super way back in the days. Joining me on commentary right now, man. You guys don't know how way back me and D1 go. So, I say the last time that we commentated together was that final round in March. But what is going on, my dude? What up, my mans? <laughs> my, ma my mans, though. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. We're about to come through here with PSG Zone SK92 versus the biggest C. <laughs> the biggest wow. of Cs. This man probably upgraded because I know there used to be a big C. I wonder if this is the same guy. Yeah, I hope it is. That would be kind of godlike. That would be amazing. He upgraded. It's 2015. You know, new year, new him. Let's go. Ooh, and these combos, though, from Peach, you got to use every move in your arsenal to try to extend your combo as much as you can. Oh, of course. And you, you saw that? Caught him with that mean dash attack to get him off stage, but my man SK92 still trying to come back, catching that bad DI off of the back throw to get that combo follow up. Such a good mix up with the spaces. Oh, there. Ooh, oh, right. an F smash would have been way better there for SK92. I said, that's that, not Fox. Yeah, that whole combo that he did looked like a combo that you'd probably see someone <laughs> attempt in Brawl. Like, just because, you know, SK92 was really beast in Brawl with Falco. So. Oh, yeah. No yeah. Doubt. That's why you're always going to see this guy opt for an up smash. Even on Dreamline against a character that probably isn't around the percent to die from an up smash, he'll go for it. Shout out to bro. Oof, that shield stab. He held the shield a little bit too long and his little feathers on his head was exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. He waited. Didn't want to deal with the down smash. So much damage. He could have been at, what, 40? 40, 50. Jeez. Because a lot of peaches, once they land on the platform, they expect you to just jump up. And then they down smash immediately. So that was a great wait by SK92. Yep. And right there, we saw him forward smash into the shield. I was wondering, do you think he probably wanted to go for another back air? Since, you know, the first one probably was like an auto cancel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Probably just screwed it up. But there it is, the laser F smash. And you see him going for a lot of these lasers just to make Peach land lower. Oh, not a true combo right there. Oh, no. You see, Peach in this matchup, she has to float right above the short hop laser range. So then she can avoid the lasers, you know, get in there. One of her main things to do, you know, right now, like he did, you know, pull out a turn up and go right above the laser range, throw the turn up, and go for fair on shield. And Peach is plus on shield. Yep. I heard uh, plus four frames. It's ridiculous. So you have an op uh, opportunity to mix up your opponents. You know, you could go in with a jab. Um, a lot of people even sometimes go with grabs because, you know, people... They expect the jab because yeah. jab, her jab comes out like in three frames, I believe. So fast. Yeah. Oh, SK92 didn't even wait after the first down smash whiffed. He was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh, fourth throw? Slappingtons. Oh, that DI was questionable. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good stuff right there. The biggest C taking that stock with that fair. I thought he was going to probably go for a double jump and toss turn up. You know how Armada does that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But good stuff regardless. He caught the recovery. Uh, he's thinking that SK92 is always going to bite when he's on a platform. So he down smashes. And he hasn't got one. He's going to have to be careful because who knows, man. He might, like, leave himself exposed, uh, especially now that he's at, like, a high percent, like 173. If you whiff a down smash on a platform and get hit by a backer, that's a lost stock. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And mm. SK92 takes the third stock from the biggest C. <laughs> 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 that name is hilarious. Dude. Yeah, that name is super hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, Anero would have definitely been way better than to cover the side B option. Because in case he upbeat instead of side B, Peach could still act. Mm -hmm. So that's how you cover multiple options when you edge guard. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he could have double dipped. Probably wasn't confident in Wow, this pressure. With Falco, right, against Peach. Mm -hmm. We need to see more floats by the biggest C. But we have a chain grab here. And... Interestingly enough, SK92 didn't want to DI to the platform. Instead, he went to the center of the stage. If Peach reacted to that, we could he could have got more grabs. Dude. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Because at, at worst, you know, go to the platform and tech, and then at worst, you'll get hit with, like, a nair. That's it. Yeah. And then you have to just literally cut, recover. But right now, okay, SK92 was looking for a tech roll inside after the knockdown. Uh, Whoa! Not safe. Definitely not that's safe. Not Let safe. him know. Yeah. Let him know. We uh, we in New York always say that double laser from the ledge is not safe. Yeah, man. So we say it every time, man. 
Ooh, kicking tins. Wow, SK92 literally playing Brawl there. Wait for, waited for the air dodge and then punished them. Good stuff. We have game one going to SK92. Intellectual boys in the building. Right, so let's see what stage he banned. Probably Fountain of Dreams. Mm. That would be a good stage to ban. Or FD, because, you know, he could get chain grabbed. True. So most likely it's probably FD. Goodness gracious. I don't know why, but my clock is on European time right now. So that, European. That, yeah, that just needs to not happen. Okay, so <laughs> he probably banned Fountain. Probably. Yeah, so here we are. But Falco, of course, still does really great on this stage. He has to just watch out for it. Peach has a lot of great combos here converting from dash attack. Mm-hmm. But SK92 already racking up that damage. And you can see he's just trying to keep Peach in the air. And I like how he opted for the down air just to force that uh, tech chase situation, right? Where he landed with a down smash the moment big, the biggest C missed the tech. And here we go again. He's just exerting this pressure. Oh, but gets up. This Ooh. could be the... the oh. oh, That's the opportunity he needed. Oh, he tried to cook it real fast. That's what you call a fiend. He it, definitely... It, yeah, that was superfiend.com. <laughs> like, he went to the, uh, like, up left. He went diagonally up left just to see if he would he read... Air dodge that yeah. way. Scared that he would go the obvious direction. Exactly. Yeah. That's that was that's what you call a hard read. If TK mm -hmm. Breezy's watching, you already know. Shout out to you. <laughs> oh, a little too late. But see, this is the great thing that there's no platform. So now is like, you know, he could freestyle more. You know, platforms aren't in my way. My combos are easier. You know, I could just down air shine, down air shine, do space back airs. And okay. Peach has to respect. That's true. But, I mean, it's easier for Peach now to not have to deal with someone running to the top platform, which SK92 really wasn't platform camping anyway. Yeah. Ooh, that was definitely unsafe. Yeah. We're gonna, you know what? We're going to have to see harder punishes from the biggest C, right? Every yeah. time he gets a grab, like... You, you need, that needs to be a stock. We're on Final Destination here. Exactly. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he pushed a little too soon. Giving Ooh. that free upper. Oh, there's, there was the double that. jump. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh my God. And oh, wow. The biggest C comes back. That was okay. a scary situation. Oh, yeah. No doubt. But yeah, all that SK92 had to do there was grab that ledge and roll. That's that it. That was a stock. That was literally a grab that ledge and then roll. <laughs> <laughs> Good up, Biata Shield sending SK92 to the edge, and you see him utilizing that double jump just to make sure he could avoid that potential dash attack, putting him in the air with that nice combo. Oh, right now. after the connecting that mm. back air uh, from the biggest C, he could have gotten a down smash immediately on landing and got so much damage. Jeez. I'm telling you, dude. You see how he... Oh, oh the he fear. Got, got, yeah, the still the fear. Super fear, yeah. <laughs> and still the fear. Oh, man. He just stared him in the eyes. He was like, you won't dare oh, come that was stage. a stitch. Yeah, wasted opportunity there. He probably didn't even want to use it because sometimes people are afraid that their opponent will catch it. Yeah, you can tell SK92 actually uses side B yeah, on purpose. Yeah, and, and his combos, yeah, because it leaves you in a lot of stun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, gets the crouch, gets the down smash on the double jabs. All right. Okay, no edge guard, recovering high, good stuff. Oh, wow, and he has total control of the set. And, oh, and there it is. There's... Okay. Uh, Okay. All right, so I got to play uh, the forbidden game, guys. <laughs> okay. See you later. See you. Wow, this guy. What a... That was awkward. All right, so here we go. Um, DJ Nintendo is off. And let's see where the homies are.